Tonight, Governor DeSantis is encouraging Floridians to be prepared for the impact of a storm brewing in the tropics. That's why we have meteorologist Tyler Moore joining us now. Tyler has been watching the tropics all day. And Tyler, what can we expect here for our work week? Yeah, this is one that's going to bring a lot of rain and a lot of wind here locally to Florida, not just for us, but really all over the state. We're looking at impacts uh, from this system right now has a 90% chance of developing. It's this red shaded area right here. We have another one further off to the north and east. Not worried about that one, but Invest 98L starting to get organized and expected to continue to develop over the next 24 to 48 hours. Right now we have some dry air getting into it. There are thunderstorms on the north side, but it's not very well defined at this moment, which is why it is only an invest. The the models do start to strengthen it though as it pushes off to the north and then turns to the west. You can see the spaghetti models here indicating that they're in good agreement that this is going to head towards Florida by the middle of the week and then eventually a cold front takes it and lifts it up back off to the north and east. But we're looking at uh, potentially a tropical storm, maybe a low end hurricane is what the models are forecasting right now. Again, mainly bringing impacts towards the other side of Florida, the Atlantic side, but we'll feel some impacts here in the Tampa Bay area. High pressure off to our north. That's going to keep this system down to the south until a low pressure starts to get picked up by the Great Lakes. That's going to pull this back off to the north. So that's going to mess with the timing of things, but we're going to break down a lot of the local details of how much wind and how much rain we'll see across the area coming up in just a few minutes.